it's overall been a very smooth race day, no problems. We're running, you know, pretty much eight minutes gun to gun, so it's we're doing well with that. Uh, we're coming in now again for SDC, Signu B, and SIGEP A. SIGEP A with Pandora is just pitting down their buggy now. SIGNU has, has gotten their buggy ready and is, is well placed in SDC as well, so we're coming down to the, the start now. And we're off, and it looks as though SIGEP A has taken a strong lead up hill one. Pushing hard. SDCA is close though. Oh, SDCA is pulling ahead now. Coming up to hill one, hill two. SDCA is taking the lead. Signy B behind them. Coming up hill one, it's a long yeah. hill. Stalled run by SDCA to start with, this, which is what you'd expect here from the defending champion. Right, and SIGEP A is making a strong contention for, uh, for it as well. SDC now pushing into the free roll, going down Shenley Drive. It looks like SDCA is off as well, and we'll, we're expecting Signy B in just another couple seconds. So we're going down the free roll, so, and we'll see them coming around. So it looks like SDCA with the lead thus far, SIGEP A following, and Signy B uh, in third thus well far. Behind. Yeah, and SDCA is coming up now to uh, Panther Hollow and Phipps Conservatory, going around the corner there. Keeping it real close to the curbs, a nice tight line through there, through the free roll. They're coming now down towards the monument. They're going to look for their flagger, who's going to give them a, an aiming point and the indication that everything's OK. It looks like SCCA has opened up a large margin here between the other two buggies. Yeah, it looks like you know, 30, 40 feet at least. Smooth on the shoot there. Very smooth and nice tight turn. And they've got a, a really sizable lead, so they're going to pick it up now at Hill 3 with their pusher. So SDCA on Hill 3, Adrian Payher. And it looks like SIGEP also just picked up their buggy. But they're, uh, they're almost a whole, tr whole hill behind. Yeah, a little trouble to transition there for SIGEP A. And finally, they get it to Hill 3. So up in some bright orange and red shirts today. Yeah. These, Sorry, three these three buggies are well spaced out on the course here. This SDCA is already on hill four. And now finally, Sig up A gets to hill four and looks like Signu B is still on hill three. Signu is, uh, has fallen behind out of our vision. So they're well behind SDC and Sig up. But SDC now is coming up. Sig up and uh, Signu are actually yeah. close and close. Signu is making a comeback, and they look like they're going to be passing Sig up on, on Hill 3, Hill 4, somewhere around there. So SCCA is going to come in with a large margin of victory here SCCA in this SCCA is heat. looking like they might come in at about 2.30, so that'll be the wow. top time for the day by almost nine seconds. So that's, they they might have beat their time from last year, 2.31. I think they got in under 2.31 here. It was 2.30 and change, just eyeballing it. Yeah, so we'll get the official times, the semi-official times on our AFIO leaderboard. And a pretty tight race for second place, looks like. Looks like. They come up hill five. So SIGEP is still, SIGEP's retaining a, about a 20, 30 foot lead over SIGNU, it looks like. So they're going to come up hill five. Uh, SIGEP in, in second place for this race coming in just over three minutes. Yeah, so. SIGNU behind them. So about 305, 306 at this point as SIGEP Bay comes to the finish line. They'll finish about 310. And so that's not going to be a second day time for, no. for SIGEP's women team this year. Finally, SIGNU coming in. Ballpark 320, and that also will not make it to day two. Right, so those teams will have high hopes for their men's teams now to make it into uh, the second day. Signu still has their, their A team to come in the next heat. Oh, Signu's A team are actually already went earlier yeah. today. Yep. Well, that was um, an impressive run there by uh, SCCA. That was. That was I mean, a we'll get the official time, but you know their mark from last year, their, their winning time was 231 on the nose, and uh, they might have beat that here. I think... It was around 2.30 and change. If just eyeballing it, we'll get the official time here momentarily. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a pretty impressive race on day one, huh, Johnny? Yep, definitely an impressive, <laughs> impressive run for SDC. Looks like, uh, well, the times aren't official yeah. yet, but it definitely seems like they're going to be well, taking over the lead. SCCA will uh, unquestionably take over the lead by about eight seconds. But the question I have is, you know, how much effort, how much you want to show your cards on day one? You just need to qualify for, for a program like SCCA, where you basically know you're qualifying uh, to day two. You know, how, how much do you want to show your hand on day one? Right. Because it really doesn't matter how you finish here. you got to finish right, as long as you're, first place, second you're day. safe, right. 
So big thing here is to get a, a good qualifying time in and to you know avoid disqualification. We saw yeah. that with SCCA last year that they had you know a great time in day one, but they uh, they weren't touching the push bar when they crossed the finish line. So their A team didn't make it to to day two last year, even though they had a great time. So the drop tests are being administered at this point. How often do teams fail drop tests, Noah? You know, I'm not sure of a of a real statistic. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty uncommon to see it happen, but it's not it's not that uncommon. I know last year we saw a couple teams that had good runs, and then uh, the drop tests didn't uh, didn't quite work.